Hello Year 7, it's Miss McCarver here. I hope you all had a nice Easter and are keeping well and safe. I must say I've been so impressed with the work that I've received so far, so really well done. Please keep up the good work throughout this term. Miss O'Donnell has looked at some poetry techniques with you this week already, but today we are looking at a poem called Pray Song for My Mother. This poem gives thanks to a mother. I would like you to think about who you would thank for taking care of you. It may be nice to let them know, as everyone could use a little compliment or a boost right now. Perhaps you could write a list of what they do for you and why you are grateful. Time to research Grace Nichols. I could quite easily give you the information, but then you probably wouldn't take it in. So I would like you to now research her and find five facts and the reason I want you to do this is because it will help your understanding of the poem if you know a little bit about her. Now this is quite an unusual poem, I'm going to read it to you in a second but you should pause the video and read it yourself, follow the instructions on this slide and then answer any questions in full sentences. If you're feeling brave, complete the cheeky challenge at the bottom. So, pray song for my mother. You were water to me, deep and bold and fathoming. You were moon's eye to me, pull and grained and mantling. You were sunrise to me, rise and warm and streaming. You were the fish's red gill to me, the flame tree spread to me, the crab's leg, the fried plantain smell, replenishing, replenishing. Go to your wide futures, you said. Seems like a strange ending, but it does actually end there. Now, some quick questions. You're probably thinking, yeah, right, miss. I just like the alliteration of quick questions. Now, work your way through these questions. You may need to research a few to help. Equally, you can always email myself or Miss O'Donnell and we will help you as quickly as possible. It is important to remember SPAG when writing out answers. We've received a lot of work where people are forgetting capital letters and full stops, the very simple things that we need. Please don't let your work slip. Take care of it and keep working as hard as you have been all year. Imagery. This word is thrown around a lot. What does it actually mean? See if you can summarise it in no more than eight words. Then look at your symbols presented within the poem. What do they mean? For example, the water shows the purity of love between them and how water can also heal and keep you safe. Jot down a few ideas for the other images on this slide. You can do it in bullet points or as a spider diagram. It's completely up to you how you present this information. Five, three, one. This is a great way to summarise your thoughts on a poem. Start with five words then three words, then one wonderful word that summarises the whole poem. Here are some extension tasks. Now, we want you all to have a go at these if you can, but we understand that you have a lot of work to do. Only if you have time or want to really push yourself should you have a go at these tasks. Maybe even just choose one or two. It's completely up to you. Once again, any questions, please email us. Other than that, please stay safe and well. In a while, crocodile. <laughs>